Hello Leo and welcome to your weekly messages for July 26th through August 1st, 2021. Happy birthday to all the Leos who are celebrating this week. I hope you guys have magical birthdays. Um, as this reading is for the week energies, we are also um, starting the first day of August, which means we have a whole new set of astrology that we're going to be dealing with. And very, very special, Leo, um, on 8-8, we have your new moon, and we also have that in alignment with the Lion's Gate. So that is very spiritual energy. It's all about awakening and activations with that energy. And and then we have the second full moon in Aquarius. We had a full moon in July for Aquarius, and now we have a second full moon taking place for Aquarius on August 22nd. And this is all about second chances, Leo. And then we have Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto, North Node, Chiron, all in retrograde right now. It's all about healing the past and finishing, um, you know, lessons that it's like you've received. It's time to just release, be completely done, deep healing. And then Uranus joins the party for that retrograde energy and will be retrograde August 20th through September 1st. And that's all about surprises. So Leo, there is a lot that's shifting and changing. Um, we just had that last week with the changing astrology, but August has a lot going on as well, but in very positive ways for each and every one of us. So let's pull some cards for this week. We'll look at general energies first, and then we'll pull some cards for love and romance energies. All right, show us Leo, what is happening for Leo this week. And some of that uh, shifting astrology for August may already be playing out in your life, Leo. All right, this one wanted to jump. Oh, look at this seventh house with partners. So a seventh house is relationships, all relationships, uh, friends, family, romance. It's our soulmates. But this is also about justice and what's fair and things balancing out for you, Leo. So let's pull some tarot and see which way this is going. Is uh, there a focus on some relationship in your life? Because right now we're looking at general energies. I'm trying to focus in there. And so friendships, family relationships, is there a focus there for Leo? Or is this about good karma, things balancing out for Leo this week? Okay, Knight of Cups, the Devil, and the Three of Wands. Okay, Leo, you, this is about relationship. This is about um, some connection in your life. Um, you know, it could be a friendship, a family relationship, a, you know, business relationship, or maybe for some of you, this is even romance, jumping into the general energies of play it how it fits. But, um, you know, on your mind, it's like you are wanting an apology from this person or you're wanting to give an apology to this person. All right. It could go either way as this is a general read, but here it's like, I don't want the inner, I don't want the waters to be rocky anymore. Somebody um, really owes you an apology and you feel that strongly in your heart and it's like you're just waiting, waiting on that to come in. Or if you feel that you might owe somebody an apology, you're, you're thinking about it, but you're feeling it very strongly within um, being pushed towards that person, um, seeing all kinds of signs and synchronicity is like, I need to reach out, I need to contact, but it's like you've been waiting for the right time or when things feel right or when the energy feels right, okay? So that's either you or this goes the other way around where it's you've been waiting on an apology from somebody. And this week, it's like you just fill them all in your energy. 
and you don't know why pretty intensely and it's because they're thinking about you um, they're projecting a lot of thoughts towards you and um, you know things went wrong somebody's feelings got hurt somebody said or did something awful so let's pull some more cards to see who this person is exactly but um, it's like this week you really want things to go one way or another like I just want to clear the air or if this is over I just want to be done with it but you're feeling it quite heavily and um, you know the person around you is also feeling this heavily regardless of who needs to uh, produce the apology you both are feeling it I there's like divine intervention going on here all right deep Six of Pentacles, yeah, it goes both ways. You both are thinking about each other, um, but we're holding back. Oh, the love. We're holding back the love. This is what's happening in the soul. That's the truth. Back and forth, back and forth energy right here. So, Leo, um, that whoever this person is, they're very near and dear to your heart. There's definitely some history here. Okay, and Spirit's not going into detail of what has happened, what has, you know, brought about a separation or this feeling of needing an apology or to an extent or to extend an apology. But what Spirit is saying is you both are feeling this. Um, whoever was truly at fault here is feeling the conviction of that quite strongly this week. However, there is like this um, closed off energy that <clears throat> you both are projecting. Um, you know, who's ever, whoever got hurt, whoever feels really bad, if that's you, it's like, no, um, yes, I want an apology, but I need some more time. Um, this is just, I'm still filtering through this. But yes, I welcome an apology, but no, I need more time. So it's like a, a back and forth, okay? And Spirit is saying it's time to open your heart space here. Whether um, you need to extend the apology or you need to accept that who hurts you wants to offer this to you, Leo. Because, um, you know, when somebody's really wronged us, it's very natural to close off our energy and not want them back around, not want to hear them, not want to understand them, want not, not want to see their side, especially if it's a repeat offender, right? Like it's just one thing after another. But within their heart, Leo, they truly are sorry um, deeply. And this, you know, some of you, this is really strongly aspected in your workplace. So like your coworker, you know, your work buddy, somebody you're really close to, it's almost like, um, you feel there was a betrayal, um, like took credit for something you did or uh, tries to make you feel small, tries to intimidate you. And, their reasoning for that isn't what you think. It has a lot to do with their own shadow and insecurity inside of them. But they want to make things right with you, Leo. That's the theme of your weekly energy is let me make it right with you, Leo. And, you know, all that retrograde energy that's going to be playing out through August, that's all about healing the past and understanding the past. And the Aquarius full moon on the 22nd second chances at something here, okay? And um, the Leo New Moon on August 8th in conjunction with the Lionsgate portal, very, very spiritually activating, okay? So everybody's naturally being drawn and led into their emotional body, wanting forgiveness, wanting to release the shadow, Okay, it's very natural. It's strong and it's happening for you guys this week as well as somebody who is connected to you. Um, you know, and they really hurt you, Leo. They've just been waiting like for the right time, the right opportunity to come in and present, uh, you know, and maybe some of you actually blocked this person so they can't communicate with you and they're wanting to. Um, or again, if this goes the other way around, it's like they blocked you 
and you want to communicate with them, you want to make this right with them, but they've blocked you. Whoever blocked, I feel, even including you, Leo, if you blocked them, there's just going to be this overwhelming urge to release that anger, that resentment, any sort of negative energy and emotion and move through forgiveness. And it's not about excusing or justifying anybody's behavior. It's truly like a big release for you, a fresh start for you. And anybody who comes in, is knocking on your door, uh, sending you a message, whatever, however they try to get into your world, they are legitimate. They mean it from their heart, from their soul. Leo, they are truly sorry. All right, let's pull some more cards here. But you really go back and forth about um, them. All right, process of attunement, maintaining balance and grace. And uh, just look at that. You see the giraffe here, okay? And then this, like his spiritual self, his higher self, like that reflection of the light, um, expanded consciousness. And that's, you know, what's happening all through August with that astrology. And it's, you know, starting now. So this week, it's a week of deep reflection, Okay, and uh, the process of attunement. Somebody really wants to make up with you, Leo. Um, doesn't want you to be hurt with them, upset with them. Okay, or you really want to make up with somebody. And um, if this is you or you want to make up with somebody, you want to offer an apology. They want to receive it, even if they're blocking your energy right now. They might just need a little more time to process. Okay, but... Uh, spirit is confirming like you both equal equally want to work this out regardless who is at fault um, but somebody really going back and forth um, feeling blocked also wondering you know is this the right time and I meant to pull uh, more cards on this but spirit was so in depth that I jumped ahead so let's see oh yeah look at that you guys are definitely um, supposed to get this worked out, Leo. That's why you both are feeling so strong and pulled to overcome this. So, you know, whoever you may have had a falling out with prior to this week, or even if it happens this week, I feel like it's prior to this week just because of these cards. You guys are meant to work this out. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Wands and the Star. You guys are meant to work this out. This is a soulmate to you. Um, it could have been a big misunderstanding. Somebody could have been selfish, okay, with the devil and the four of pentacles. Somebody could have been selfish. They could have really let you down, um, you know, in a moment that you needed them. And you're like, you know what, screw you then. Um, but if that's the case, they are very sorry for that. Whoever screwed up here is very sorry for it. They realize that it's on them. They want to take accountability and responsibility for that and they want to bring back harmony and balance and they want to do it with grace like they don't want to play the blame game they want to take full ownership it's just like um, being weary of trying to come back in like I'm unwelcome here but I, I want to make things right so if you blocked them Leo unblock them and see if you get a message that may be very well be their sign that okay, Leo's open and receptive to talking to me again, if that's the case. Or if uh, you're on the other side of this and you've been blocked and you notice all of a sudden you're not blocked anymore, that very well may be your sign, Leo, that the time has come where you can actually um, work this out with this person, okay? It's different for all of you, but it, it's all about forgiveness. And I am tending to see this more as somebody wants to come in and make it right with you, Leo. Alright, so this is your artwork. And it says, When I don't know what is happening, I choose to be curious and excited about what is going to be. Yes, be excited and curious about what is up ahead, okay, because 
you and somebody you're getting worked out you're meant to get worked out okay it's written in the stars it's a misunderstanding or somebody uh, is ready to take accountability and ownership for their actions where maybe they weren't so much last week or further in the past just depending on how long um, this has been going on for you but it's all about kissing and making up this week Leo and since this is your general messages I see this really as a friend family member um, also very strongly aspected of being in the workplace so let's get into your love and romance energies and see if uh, what's coming out there mirrors your general energies because it very well may it's like this week I people really want to um, balance things out with you um, and it could be those of you that have your birthday this week that's like the invitation um, the door this person's been waiting for hey Leo happy birthday how are you been thinking about you you know just kind of drop in unexpectedly like that because that's when it feels safest for them to approach you but they they have uh, genuine intention Leo truly with the ace of cups there it's like they've just been waiting all right so let's look at your love and romance energies all right explore spend some more time dating before you make a long-term commitment and one or all of these messages could apply so just take what resonates passion your relationship can grow stronger or burn out depending on your choices and security you are safe and secure with your partner and your relationship is harmonious um, you know what I'm feeling here separated single or brand new uh, person committed couples okay so uh, Leo if somebody is trying to come back in this week from your romantic past wanting to uh, you know work things out with you try to get back with you with this card here explore um, spare saying there may be somebody better suited for you all right there may be somebody much better suited for you that's just on the horizon and you need to give yourself a chance it's like um, the old is the old the past is the past and what's coming in is beautiful and you don't want to miss miss out on this so um, and some of you it could just outright be like somebody trying to come in um, come back in you're just like oh no I, I already know your story we could be friends but I don't I don't want to lock down like with that I just it's like don't lock down with anybody that's coming back in from your past and then here um, somebody brand new you meet this week or somebody newer that you've met um, there's a lot of chemistry happening uh, you guys are developing a bond things are gonna move rather quickly in this connection um, much quicker than you anticipate like um, it makes you kind of makes you feel off your game a little bit just because of this person and um, it's like I see them invading your space but not in like this bad creepy way it's energy it's not like they're showing up at your house when you're not there type of stuff it's not like that um, it's like you uh, are private you keep your distance you have boundaries but this person it's like you're breaking all the rules for them and they're just like energy is all up in your space and normally you wouldn't tolerate something like that but from this person it's like I just I can't help it it actually is kind of turning me on whereas with anybody else it would turn you off it's yes that's a good way to express this what this person does or what they say or just something about them would normally turn you off from anybody else but with them it's just like that's who they are and it's very attractive it's authentic it's very um, alluring it pulls you in so there's a lot of uh, passion and chemistry and uh, just nice connection singles new person wow and over here committed couples um, this is a good week for your love 
you guys are happy, you're getting along, um, you're on the same page, you're feeling good, you're feeling content, and so are they. So it's a good week for a uh, couple of Leos. And you know, uh, if you have a birthday this week, your person definitely doing something special and sweet for you, letting you know like how much they're in love with you and nobody could take your place, like nobody could steal your partner from you. So this week you're just feeling very, very loved. Those of you who are in committed relationships. All right, so let's pull some tarot. All okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles, yes. Uh, Spirit is saying, singles out there, um, you know, you could date somebody from your past, um, but man, there's a there's a lot of treasure out there to be explored. Right now, um, it's like not the time to be deeply committed. It's the time to have fun and go on dates because there's somebody special that you are going to align with and like that will be the person and you'll be like I am so happy and never worked out with anybody prior to meeting you because you are exactly everything I've been wanting oh my gosh I'm so blessed this is magic remember Uranus is going retrograde uh, August 20th through September 1st and that's all about surprises okay so this energy um, could play out all the way until then it's just, wow, Leo. Okay, what do we have here? Um, we have the Ace of Cups coming in for a new person this week or um, newer person that you've just met. It's love. It's passion. It's beautiful. You got the Ace of Cups twice. What's in the general reads? And now in your romantic energies, Leo. So um, singles, let the past go date somebody beautiful is coming in I feel more towards the end of August rather than this week and that's why spirit's saying explore and then those of you who just met somebody or this new person comes in this week oh yeah you guys are bonding you're getting closer don't get caught up in your head really just go with the flow and enjoy this energy and this connection you have with this person um, because there's so much more to come and now we have couples look at this the chariot with security um, some of you might have a vacation coming up at the end of the week. Um, you and your honey going somewhere. You guys are going to have a lot of fun. Okay. Um, any sort of travel plans, everything's going to be okay. No need to worry. No uh, reasons for concern, whether you're driving, flying, riding in a boat. You are safe. You are secure. The angels surround you guys. It's a very harmonious week of love for committed couples, really feeling on the same page, feeling like a lot of success, um, you guys getting a lot accomplished, and um, I do see some sort of special like travel at the end of the week, whether you're just going camping for the weekend, um, or you're going to go on a road trip, you're going on just a trip between the two of you, or maybe this is like something you're doing with the whole family. Um, however it plays out, it's beautiful, and you're really enjoying yourself. And maybe this whole week, that's where you're at. You're just uh, on a vacation with the one or the ones you love, feeling good, loving life. So um, let's pull one final card for the love messages, Leo. I don't feel like I need to um, pull any more tarot on that love. It's beautiful. Um Singles, nobody, um, nobody around. It's time to let the past go and put yourself back out there because there's somebody special coming in on the horizon. New love, oh, it's just beautiful. Committed love, it's again, it's just beautiful. So what final message do you have for Leo's? All right, we got two messages. So here's the artwork. And one says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So the mind, um, at this, okay. So those of you who are really still thinking about like an ex or something, or this ex shows back up, 
um, or more so like um, thinking about somebody. Spirit wants you to recognize if you miss that person or if you are missing like the memory of that person of what you guys once had because what you had and that person that's two different vibrations of energy and you've most certainly changed and they've most certainly changed it's just natural through any sort of um, separation and spirit is saying you know this person of the past romantically just put that person on the back burner for now it doesn't mean like forever always like you'll never speak to this person but um, there is this beautiful romance that is like fated for you to come into your life very healing love and it's like just on the horizon all right and now we have this imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life yes Leo it's time for you to get back out there you singles that have been mending a broken heart thinking about somebody of the past it's time to get out there and jump in and uh, let people you know take you on dates take you out because you're gonna have a lot of fun and through that process you're gonna come into alignment with somebody very very lovely so those are your messages for this week Leo I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.